find out the innovative ways they used tea in the past. And stay till the end to find out how they might use it in the future to power your phone. The only use I would ever consider for pee is for jellyfish things. But that's apparently not even a thing, and you're better off rinsing it with vinegar or hot water. Oh, and there's drug test and urinalysis. Pretty important stuff, but boring. Throughout history though, people have found peculiar and, um, <laughs> creative ways to use pee. You'd be scratching your head and wondering how they were able to discover these uses. Did someone just go and say, let me pee on this thing and see what happens? Urine softens leather and removes unwanted hair. They would soak animal skin in urine to remove unwanted hair and flesh. Urine is a good source of urea, which is a nitrogen-based organic compound. When stored for a long time, the urea in pee turns into ammonia, a caustic substance that is used to break down organic matter. Hence, softening and tanning animal skin. Urine gets rid of all sorts of dirt and tough stains. No, you did not stumble upon an ad for Clorox. In ancient times, Rome would have conveniently placed vessels on the streets in case nature calls while you're taking a stroll. They would then collect the pee, take these to the laundry, dilute it with water, and pour it over dirty clothes. A worker would then jump into the tub of water, pee, and clothes and stomp on it. The OG version of the modern washing machine. Talk about a dirty job. Brighter colored frocks for the king and queen with the help of pee. They used urine in 16th century England to produce fabrics with brighter colors. Textiles in those days were dyed with organic material from leaves, flowers, berries, and the like. In order for these colors to bind to the fabric and not bleed later on, they used stale pee for its ammonia contents. Urine was so important to the textile industry back then that families would collect their pee and the textile industry would transport collected urine across England. Bullets from pee. And we're not talking about peeing directly on your enemy to disrespect them. We're talking about actual bullets, the kind they used in the Civil War in the US. The nitrogen in pee is converted to saltpeter, the main ingredient for gunpowder. And speaking of war, how about a pea-soaked gas mask to survive a chemical attack? Germany used thorine as a weapon of war in World War I. In high concentrations, chlorine can cause death by asphyxiation or suffocation. Since chlorine is water-soluble, a water-soaked cloth was found effective in preventing untoward effects. Some, though, would swear by a urine-soaked hanky as chlorine would react to the urea in pee. Who knew? Pee could save lives. Pee as teeth whitener. This might be a great alternative to an expensive visit to the dentist. Or, if you want to go the natural route, then apply in Crest Strips. The ammonia in urine might be good for lifting away those coffee stains. Seriously though, please do not try it at home. Urine is the next source of <clears throat> clean energy. It looks like they are currently developing technology that would turn urine into electricity. The idea is to pass urine through a fuel cell that contains bacteria that would feed on it and generate enough power to charge your cell phone or turn on a light bulb for six hours. Yes, that might not be something that you'd be excited to try out anytime soon. But imagine how this would impact communities that do not have a steady supply from an electrical grid, like refugee camps. 
who knew that the thing you flush down the toilet several times a day had so many uses? Most of them seem so icky, but you do what you had to do, right? Did we miss anything in this video? Do tell us in the comments below. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. For more interesting facts and stories, subscribe to our channel and click on the post notification button to know when we upload a new video. Remember, stay fox curious.